Oh, we're recording. Wow. All right, guys. Here it is. It is 12:09 midnight, going into Saturday. I am on my way to pick up the uh, Racing Line software director, aka Computer Man, aka the Tuner. Um, his flight got canceled into Norfolk, so he had to reroute to Richmond. So it's about an hour and some change drive for me. Lands at about 12:30, so I'm going to go up there to save him. He had a car scheduled down there in Norfolk, but since he got rerouted, he couldn't get a driver or a car or rental, whatever his plan was. So I'm going to go save the day. Um, tomorrow we get on the dyno, and I'm super freaking stoked. He said we're going to start out with uh, flashing back the stock and then moving it up, tuned through there. That way we can get a baseline and, and see things. You know, I got a car coming up on me fast. Oh shit. Anyway, I'm just like reflecting right now in the car, like. You know, if I would have told myself a year ago or two years ago or five years ago, you know, that I'd be picking up a, a tuner that's coming from the United Kingdom to tune my car, to finalize their beta software and all this stuff, like, it's just crazy to me, like, how how things pan out, you know? It's, it's really interesting that, like, how did I, how did this happen? Like, this is just so, like, random and awesome. But like, how did this fall into my lap? I don't even know. I didn't ask for this. I didn't like directly ask, hey, could you come out and do this thing? It just was like, you know, hey, I'm thinking about, you know, I don't even remember exactly what he said. I'm still like shocked. This is like two weeks since we've talked about it and now it's actually happening. I'm still like shook. Like how in the hell? I don't even remember exactly. He said, I'm, I think he asked where I live. He's like, oh, I thought you lived so-and-so. Well, he said he's going to Canada. They, they were doing like a finalizing their stage one for the GTIs, I guess, for North America up in Canada. And then he's coming to me. I don't know if he's going to another guy after me or not, but he's like, hey, yeah, I might be able to swing down by you. And I was like, no way. Are you kidding? He's like, well, you know, tell me where you are and what airports are near. And next thing you know, he's like, hey, man, I can come on this date and do this. Can you get a dyno? Call around and there's some dynos found one that's open on the weekend blah 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 and it's just all right i'm buying a ticket and i was like oh my god like this is real like this is one from this like kind of like a ha ha to me i was just like oh like yeah that would be cool wouldn't it to like all right well i'm coming They're like oh okay well shit i didn't really think that i thought i just i don't even know what to think i, I never thought that this could even be a thing you know uh red bull's got me a little talkative i guess you tell them, I'm really freaking hyped. Like, this is just, it just blows my mind. It's not like I'm some, like, big, huge channel. Like, oh, yeah, let's go grab that guy with a, a million followers so we can get our name out there. I'm just, I mean, I've been doing this for, I think, almost six years now. Five years this year or six years this year. And, you know, I only have, like, 6,200 subscribers. There's people that start, and in a year, they're at, like, you know, 50, 100, 250K. It's, it's just weird. It's not, well, not weird, but it's, we're a harder crowd, you know? You're not going to get many V8 guys or Evo guys or Subaru guys or BMW guys watching this type of content. And you got, like, Cletus. You got every type of race person or people that don't even race watching Cletus, you know, and, and Adam LZ and, and Jimmy Oaks and TJ Hunt and, you know, all, all the big names out there. So this, to me, is, like, huge. This is, like... I'm like way outside of what the kind of things like this is something for like someone that's like has a big name you know at least in my mind I don't know but this is just super awesome I just wanted to vent a little bit this is just I don't know super cool I don't know what the next clip is going to be or if I'm going to put this at the end of the video I guess you guys will know uh, tomorrow's going to be super dope though I hope someone guesses pretty close and for the record my guess it's going to be based off of seeing other tuners uh, numbers and times and stuff I think on E85 which we're not doing I think on E85 it'll make in the 450 range and on 93 maxed out stage 2 it'll make like right at around 400 wheel torque wise I don't know 4, 420s which is really crazy to think about because for me to make that much power in my golf 
I was on a Vortex standard with multi port injection, and uh, that made I think 447 at 28 pounds and like four, like 428 torque. So I mean, this is almost like a standard Vortex from the factory, um, which is really just freaking awesome. I'm really excited to see what EQT is going to do with these cars. I know they got a lot planned out. It's going to be really neat to see uh, what their Gen 4 turbo is going to be like. But All right. I'm getting off the highway here. And, uh, yeah, tomorrow's going to be 